Hello there guys, um, I've had an absolute wonderful night, it's like 4 o'clock here in the UK and I've just crept in and carried the kids out of the car and into the house and usually I do an hour's live earlier so the people who are usually here while I'm live probably won't be here and um, yeah it might be in whether or not this pops up in a different area somewhere because i've come on at about four o'clock in the uk um but anyway it will be available to those who didn't get to catch up with me tonight if they wanted to and um obviously it will be uploaded to youtube a bit later than usual um, but it will be available on youtube for those that watch over on YouTube so um, if you are on YouTube and you want to know more then obviously I'm over here on my crap book at Kelly Cotton so um, wow 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 I have had an awesome evening like I feel so truly blessed such wonderful people such amazing amazing conversations like uh, like seriously like I feel like a bit like my old self do you know what i mean but not my old self but a bit more like the person who always had your egg because like i always felt in such state of bliss and like i'm so glad i went i'm so glad i had so many apprehensions and so much um like anxiety about it and worrying about whether the boys are going to behave or you know how people are going to feel about taking children out so late at night and um and, and, it, and it, you know there was there was actually three other kids but i think it was more because somebody had texted and said look you know someone's got kids here so why not bring the kids and and, and it was it was wonderful it was amazing you know i had a new experience as well i had a wonderful new experience like um, I majoretted when I was a kid and every time I go, if I play snooker or pool, I'll mess around with the cue or if anyone's got a long stick or something, then I'll sometimes mess around with it. And, but tonight, oh my goodness, tonight, um, I did that thing where you light the fire and um, it, you spin it with flames on it and it was just one of the most exhilarating experiences because what you think is fast in normal things. So if I'm spinning my hands like this, it's considered fast, but it didn't. It completely just slowed down and was just like such in the flow, but everything on the outside and the sound of the flames going around, and you know, it was just this most awesome experience ever. It was like true chi flow and like, it was absolutely just like this, just most amazing experience. and lots of hugs and lots of singing and lots of banging and drums and lots of dancing and you know and the boys just had a wonderful time we were just at the back we actually it wasn't actually where i thought it was going to be um it moved up to behind east knee uh coffee cup um which is where it was last week but i just parked up last week and i didn't actually have the balls to go down um so uh <sighs> thing on my laptop but like just wow i mean it was such a shame my phone went like literally just as we got there and i had to park a little bit further away not too far but just a little bit further away and i thought oh god i'm not taking all the bags and blanket and everything down because if the boys just decide they want to do a bolt i'm not carrying all the bags and if they don't want to stay or if i've got to get out there quicker and the car's not quite there and it was like oh just like i'm on my own and i don't know if i'm going to know anybody down there or if uh like, you know, um, how I'm going to feel, how people are going to take me, blah, 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 blah. Um, how people are going to feel about mum turning out with boys, blah, 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 blah. Um, but anyway, like me and the boys just, I just took my handbag and their toy bag in the end, just with a few monster trucks on the, on the beach and things, and a couple of things to do with the stones. And um, I left their swimming stuff in the bags because I thought, oh, I'll just set the boundary that it's too late to go in the sea, and that's it. So, um, like, we had a wonderful walk from the length of where the car was down to where everybody was. So if I didn't feel like I was comfortable going, I wasn't walking directly to them, do you know what I mean? And there was 
people coming in with their sailboats and from the kite sailing and the boys were stopping and watching them putting their bits down and, um, and then there's like this bit for wheelchairs and stuff to be able to get all the way down and they were like stopping and playing with the cars and stuff waiting for Shiloh to catch up and things and um, as soon as we went down that was it Elijah just went straight to the front found a bit that he wanted put his cars out and then he sort of moved and then he found a people that he wanted to see it where he's gone and but you would know he didn't he found a dog sat with a dog come through sat smack bang in the middle and met another eds -er tonight as well like crazy and i mean those gorgeous cookies like seriously i'm obsessed with these cookies now they're from aldi and i'm on a mission now to get these cookies um just two seconds I mean, Elijah, Elijah coming back in the car was like, you know, what a beautiful, wonderful evening, Mummy. Thank you, thank you, Mummy, for such a wonderful evening. And as we got in the car, I just sort of like said to the boys, I said like, you know, like seriously, boys, like thank you so much for, you know, the space that you've given Mummy to be able to just chill and, you know, celebrate and, and unwind and. You know how amazing you've been, what sort of good boys you've been, and like you know, it was it was just it was just such a great space to be in for the boys to be so free and to be by the ocean and in the sand and sitting on the rocks and sitting by a fire with you know, and then Mark was there as well, and I know Mark so and. Um, the lady who runs it is just so beautiful. She's just so beautiful. Like, you know, what a beautiful soul. And you just wouldn't have thought it, you know what I mean? And um, I had to do a bit of an incident, though, where I just went and checked on the kids because um, they were asleep and there was somebody who was a bit drunk and a bit rowdy. And I sort of walked over just to make sure it was assessing, you know, the situation was okay and wasn't going to cause me any bother. It actually turned out to be a mum that I know and um, I didn't actually realise where it was at first and she kept saying you do know me, you do know me and I went oh shit I do know you and then tonight it's clicked how I know her because she kept saying to me don't tell her mom, don't tell her mom. so but she had a lovely night, great night, she was brilliant and yeah so um, yeah it was a really good night, like, I had a really awesome night, absolutely amazing and I just feel so blessed to have spent such a beautiful night in, in, in the new moon and the planetary alignment and the polarization to have been there Mark like burnt some rock and, and, and graffiti on a burnt some char stick so charcoal the new moon and not the black moon the new moon and um uh just trying to light my flag sorry guys and uh played the drums so while Shiloh was falling asleep on my shoulder I was just sort of like messing around with the drums playing you know with Shiloh like rocking on my shoulder and stuff and uh just little tents around for the kids to chill in and I've got to get some of the this things for the boys to make sure I know where they are because I'm going to go down I'm going to do my own as well so you know I'll start with my own and, and stuff it's just unreli unreliable to say every Wednesday I couldn't do that I couldn't set something like that up at the moment but um, I'm definitely going to go down every Wednesday. I'm definitely going to make it something that we go down to and, and I'm making effort like while we're here to go down every Wednesday because it's a different chain of people as well. It's not like a clique of people. Um, there's a group of people that, you know, sort of continuously turn up, but I think even they sort of mitch and smitch between them. And, you know, there was people that I met who come for the first time today. The, the lady who was also in the DSA was the first time. I met a gemiologist who, who designs all the, makes all the gems and stuff, and it's the first time. Uh, I met a, a, a criminologist and, and, and the producer and all of that down who come for the first time. Um, it was such a wide range of people, like, 
you know, as much as it was all the the hippie bongos and and, and the fire, because it is a is a it's a beat is a fire jam. Um, so it's literally, you know, the flame things and, and jamming around a, uh, a fire. Um, and, you know, just, uh, it, 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 it would be like taking, like if you've got an American school and you have the jocks and the doodars and the doodars and the doodars, it would be like taking three of each of them and putting them all around, but then intermingling them around and, 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 and just such unity, just such unity between, you know, lots of different levels of vibrations and, and actually more and healing as well, like so much healing, so much healing, like real true healing, like, you know, if the vibration, look, if your frequency is not right, you're not going to be there to, 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 to have turned up, you'd have been like me, so shall I, shan't I? Um, but I knew I was entering into a whole new frequency tonight, and I'm so glad. I wish I could have been with Dean tonight as well, though, to have shared that frequency. I wish Liam had been there. I wish my kids had been there. I wish, you know, my family had been there to sort of like, I mean, at the end of it as well. In fact, I was one of the last to leave. In fact, actually, I'm not the last to leave because um, my friend, um, uh, he lives on the streets. I don't know if I can name him. I don't know whether or not I can do it. But one of my friends, he's not Alan, but one of my friends who lives on the street. Um, he ended up coming and sitting with four of us that were left. I mean, there must have been, because people come and go as well. Like, some people come and sit and chill for a bit and then come back. Or, you know, it starts at, like, um, from sort of, like, six o'clock, getting the fire going and stuff like that. And then, like, literally, I've, I've, I've just, like, literally got the kids in bed. They've been asleep, like, since, I think they sort of crashed about half past ten, eleven. About eleven, about eleven, I think they sort of crashed. So I've just literally carried them in and put them to sleep. And, um... I've been backwards and forwards and, you know, just like, I've, I was actually able to chill because there was just so many people's eyes on my kids, like, because the sea was there and stuff like that, you know, straight away people just gave me such peace to know that, you know, I wasn't a, a lone mum on a beach on this big scale ocean that my children could be just completely swept out into and I had the powerless side was with a, a group of people that I love to say, like, you know, friends, family, colleagues, and a great network of people that can work in co-symbioticness and create something amazing from the flame to, you know, the phoenix to, to the communities. And, and, and we stood, stood today, it was four of us, we just we just stood and you know, shook hands and, you know, held hands and just thanked each other for the moments that we shared that evening and the blessings that we'd had and, you know, and, and how much, you know, we'd we're, we're, we're given and taken, blessed and, and learned from each other just in, in the conversations that we'd had and, you know, just they just wished each other all their best in, 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 in tomorrow and they're crossing over and, and, you know, it was wonderful, 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 wonderful. And every time someone was going, you know, it was everybody, everybody just, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you know, and if somebody was stuck with something and, like, you know, one guy I met, um, you know, he just said his mind was a bit crazy, so we put it into a rock and threw it, you know, like completely out into the sea and just let it go, just like me, really just let it go. It was just like, it was just like so exhilarating. It was, it was just, I don't know, I just don't want this, this frequency or vibration and, and moment that I'm on to, to sort of go really because I didn't want to come home like I just hope, wished I had a van just to sort of like sit outside while the kids were asleep in, in the bed in the van and um, you know make a hot chocolate and have a fag and sit by the sea and crawl into bed with the boys and close the door and you know wake up in the morning and get the boys you know surf suits on and, and go and splash in the sea on our boards and you know go spend sunrise you know out on the ocean and you know go fireside and make some breakfast and you know go and enjoy you know where we were at the time and I don't know and go to the galleries and history and future creations and see what councils are doing and people are they doing and do some videos and photographs and documentaries and 
memories and I even got to talk to Mark tonight about my creation of this art piece that I want to do because he's the person, if you actually go Google Cause Method and do artwork, there's a piece that's got like literally all of the map of of Portsmouth and South Sea on it, and he, he's painted it himself. And um, uh, like I talked to him about this whole thing, and, and he even understood it from a deeper level. As soon as I said it, he seen the little mermaid thing in your name, and he was down there, he had a vision, he didn't even do it. So he's already now going off in his own mind, creating how we can bring this piece together. And we've got some really great ideas on how to bring all the schools and all the communities and mental health and prisons and everything together to all put their piece of it together and I really really hope we can maybe do it from the sea into on one of the piers into a bridge or something to show the difference between a positive and negative not the like vibration mind and not everybody likes the sea not everybody likes a fire jam not everybody likes but everybody must love nature like some people will choose to be in the woods some people will choose to be out in in, in by the sea, some people want to be by a lake. Um, you know, some people may want to be on top of a mountain. It's it's wherever you find your your thing. And mine is I'm I'm an earth sign because I'm a Taurus. Uh, I'm but um, I'm an earth sign. I don't really go by horoscopes. I go more by astrology, but. Um, I do absolutely love to just be anywhere where I don't feel trapped by buildings of cars and people and not all people. I love to be with people, but you know, I had such wonderful conversations tonight. Just such on just 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 people just got it on a level that rather all this fear mongering, it was just done on such an intellectual level that we could just talk to each other on a different you know, understanding, and, and, and it was really, really, really funny, like, I mean, as soon as I got there, someone went, oh, I know you, were blah, 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 and it was really weird how all the meetings came together as well, because it was either somebody I'd crossed paths on, either being on camp on XR, or I'd seen them at a yellow jacket thing, or they'd watch my videos, or I've met them through being the skating mum that skates around, or because I've helped one with the case, or because of a, a thing that I've gone to with the kids. And um, and then the two, three people that were also new that day turned out to be so in line with, with, with who I am. One, an EDSer, and had problems with social, blah, blah, blah. I won't discuss her case, but she's coming in and, and she's gonna be a great asset to this. And um, one is a is a video for a producer and everything, and, and, and we're gonna meet up and, and see how we can put all this together. and. Um, and the other one was is going to help me un understand exactly what this mineral is over in the Congo that's causing all this shit. And I believe a lot of this has to do with obviously the missing pyramid that uh, is this, that was discovered in in the time of World War Two, and there's been more found now. So I still believe it's a lot to do with this stuff. So. You know, if you don't know something, YouTube can teach you so much. Of course it can, but a conversation with somebody who is fascinated and, ah, oh, seriously. So I just explained, for people who, who don't know this person has just popped up on their lives, um, I usually do my lives earlier on, but I've been out to the fire jam tonight and I'll come in later and I've just had just the most... Wow, just one of those evenings that you just wish would go on and 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 you know, and and you can just move on and live totally in in the moment. And I just think as well because I've just had it's the first of August today, so I can officially take my red jacket off. Not officially, really, because I've now got a new mission on hand. And now I've got to get you all into the submission. So I've got to get you all to submit, bow down to win. It's a really difficult thing to do, but promise me, well, I promise you there's a bigger picture to it all. So I need you to write your submissions. 
and your submissions are going to be written in an affidavit state. So we're actually going to bring mercy and make them submit in a different way. So as from today, I am now going to be talking about constantly right the way up to the end of the month because the deadline is the 30th of August 2019 to get your submissions into the inquiry into children social care practice and timelines and how this is affecting their way to care for families and you are going to put your key in the door and twist it and open it even wider with each of your cases individually and together we are going to pull this into an investigation so by the first well by the 7th of September I want to see in the papers by the 7th of September we will see in the paper by the 7th of September the front page of the paper will say that there is an investigation into children so let's do it Let's make it happen. And you've got to be in it to win it, like the lottery, per se. So, um, it's on my timeline. All the details are up there. Or you can click on the link that should be in the timeline. If it's not, it will be. And um, it will take you straight to your submission. So, in between that time, literally, open up the Word document. If you don't have Word document, then you're going to have to contact them and ask them how you can do this in another way because I only know you have to download a Word document at this particular point. Part of this is what we have to expand because this does not work for people who are labelled dyslexic, any form of learning challenges, and people like me who are visual. So I do videos rather than typing, sometimes I type. So we need to expand this already. So as from tomorrow, today, literally, if, as you are reading, listening to this video and pick up the phone to them go to the website and say I don't have access to a word document I'm gonna to have to do the same and see if anybody answers the phone leave a message tell them who you are and what you're going to be putting in uh, start getting your MP so start letting your MP know that there is an inquiry and you'd like your uh, voice heard in this um, and basically get together your document so go in, answer the questions very, very, very clearly. Use it like an exam question. If you need help with this, please do build a network and we'll help each other do this. We've got a whole month to make sure everybody's is in. And um, then we're going to expand the boxes to say how this is fucked up and taking our kids and get this recognised as state kidnap and um, the bigger picture as well. So please, 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 please do continue to follow, watch, and if you can be part of the puzzle in this, you can do some part of it. If you can fundraise, if you can get awareness, if you can campaign. Um, from the 1st of July all the way through to the end of July, I ask you all to Red X, do your bit, get out there for forced adoption, expose, hold the adoption drive. By the 17th, by the 17th, the Education Committee has in issued an inquiry into children's social you did amazing you did absolutely amazing i couldn't have done it on my own i couldn't have done it on my own without you i work tirelessly hard i don't stop i'm on the phone i don't email so much because i write it into books um but i do you know i do get onto my phone um i am on twitter and crackbook and you know and instagram and, and messaging people and you know, Amber's also connecting people up to ring me and people call and I speak to people out on the streets, I go into offices and blah 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 blah. So anyway, I need to get on the road, it's as simple as that. Um, um I, I, I need to get out to you guys to, to get these submissions in because if, if I've got fifty six like the adoption inquiry, this is game over because that was just the university, this is parliament, this is the education committee, so you know, you have to get these in. So, um, like, it's a must, like absolute must. 
So anyway, because I'm later tonight as well, because you're probably going to be catching up at a different time, I'm going to leave this at half an hour. So, and I don't really want to take away my bars, and I've got a few new videos I want to watch from some stuff that I was introduced to tonight as well. And, and just as much as I've taught people, people have taught me what I've learned from people, and other people have learned from me. And you know, and and my boys, my boys just had they so their natural environment, and it's so their natural environment. It really is. It really is. And also, as soon as I get off here, I'm going to connect up to the homeschooling network here. I actually met the person who runs it. Um, and, and dedicates their whole time to it. Um, the daughter is homeschooled um, and the boys clicked straight away with her so I'm going to go and join them for a bit and um, yes and, and they're on the road as well so uh, I'm going to start preparing for that life and I'm really 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 looking forward to it like um, and I can do so much more from there as well it's just now I've got to get a core financial structure in place now to make sure that, you know, daily, as and when, you know, that I'm making the funds for the material things that we need along the way and, and that we can really make sure that I can keep the petrol going. Hopefully one day I'll have a full veg juice, whatever, you know, sort of car and I won't have to worry about petrol and, and maybe I can get that uh, and solar panels and all that sort of stuff. But... Uh, I'm still a little bit materialistic. I'm still a little bit like thing. I can go quite a long time without a shower now. Um, uh, I've been training myself because you're talking about a woman that used to get up in the morning and have a shower and have a bath at night who's gone to, you know, having, well, I've sort of taught them, and there were many homeless people as well along the way. You had to get into sports centres and different places and of course Portsmouth here you know in surfing cities and towns and stuff there's always showers outside and showers in uh, you know like way you drop off and, and then go to service stations and showers in different places and stuff like that where you can just get up in the morning and go and have a shower and stuff so we tend to park like near a sports centre you know so I think it's cool but I definitely 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 need a way of travelling with my family I don't want to have to go to work and put my kids into, um, you know, into, into nursery and school so I can go out there and help other families. That's just shit. So, you know, I help my family and, you know, by doing what I love, by getting out there and taking photographs of sunrise, sunset and memories in the middle and things like tonight, like, I mean, I took some amazing photos, but not on mine, my phone crashed ages ago, my phone crashed as soon as I got there, but uh, I took photos and couple, did a couple of videos and photographs for couples of people there off their phones because they were either too drunk or too stoned, so um, I took a couple, so, um, and I was in a couple as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing what photographs me and the kids are in and stuff, so, um, yeah, like, oh, seriously, like, I feel so blessed, I feel so wonderful, I feel like the Kelly that I once knew, do you know what I mean, the Kelly that, 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 that doesn't live with all this grief and depression, and I don't want to bring myself back to that sort of place, but, you know, like, you know, talk about, you know, I, I just feel like now, 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 now I'm ready to now, now I'm ready, Aaron and Faith are coming, it's like, you know, they're my blood, they're my kids, and, you know, something that um, one of the lads has reminded me that, you know, I'm more likely to meet my kids at a fireside in, in, you know, near a skateboard park than I'm ever going to do, like, you know, I'm going to meet my kids being in my zone, I'm going to meet my kids being in, you know, in alignment with with who they are, and the more I am who I am, the more I will pull my kids into who they truly are. So, the more that I be the mum to Elijah and Shiloh and Liam and Daniel, and the more that I keep the space for Aaron and Faith, always, always keep the space for Aaron and Faith. You know, like, um, even in my home that I'm creating, I never thought, yeah, I'm in a one bedroom flatmate, but I still think about, you know, if Aaron and Faith walked through that door by right now, you know, how would I work this out and stuff like that. So, um, you know, the more I be in my true essence and my true self, and you know, the more likely that our paths are going to cross a little quicker. And um, 
yeah, I'm going to be in full alignment. So I'm looking forward to this journey. And before I go, I've got the most beautiful email of Dean and all he said is I'm up for work at 7.15 in the morning. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. It's better now than now. Than now. So, um, wow, I'm not picking him up on Friday. So, um, yeah, this will be, I don't know. Let's see. So please, 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 guys, and thank you so much for everybody that did WebEx up. Like, now we're going to go over to the inquiry stuff. So um, I don't know what we're going to do now. So green, maybe, inquiry, stamp over, investigate. So inquiry, investigate. Um, hold your adoption drive. So anyway, guys, I shall speak to you later. Have a really, really blessed morning, evening, night. Uh, God bless. Namaste. Peace, love. Only prosperity to you. Oh, see you later.